Again, guys here, and then we'll get going. RJ, if you can, can you, can I get recorded permission? This is Andy Humphrey. Yeah. yeah. We'll get rolling. Uh, the questions for Mitch. So, Eric, do you want to get us going? Sure. Uh, Mitch, just what do you remember from last year's bragging rights game? And just it seems like that was one of your more fun times you just had on the floor. Uh, I mean, I learned a lot from the game. Uh, just just the hustle, the toughness to bring to that game. Uh, I feel like that changed the atmosphere. With it being neutral this year, I mean, but it's at our place, but not really having any fans. Uh, we just got to bring the energy ourselves instead of having the crowd be able to do it for us this year. Uh, Mitch? Hey, Mitchell, I know, you know, Illinois' strength, is one of their strengths is, is the offensive glass. And you all were able to, to neutralize that really effectively last season. Does, does that, you know, game plan kind of carry over at all this year? Oh, yeah, I think it's kind of the same. Uh, like Coach said, for us to have a chance, we gotta, we always got to win the, uh, the glass margin. So, I mean, we got to be 15-plus on the O boards, and then we just got to win on the overall board. So, yeah, the rebound does, definitely takes place. Jack? Mitch, after the game uh, against Liberty, Coach Martin compared you to a credit card because you can't leave leave your ho- house without it. Uh, h- how would you describe your role on this team? Uh, I mean, I'm just the I'm the dirty guy for the team. Uh, I'm the guy on the team. You probably don't want to play against that person, but you would like to have them on your team. I mean, I'm gonna die for the ball. I'm gonna do hard plays, make tough plays like that. So. I just I feel like I just bring the energy to the team. Sometimes if I see the guys maybe not as enthused as they they might be, I, I can like I can turn everybody up. That's kind of what I bring to the team, and I just play hard and guys feed off that. Okay, Mitchell, how much value is there in you guys having faced a little adversity and gotten tested before this game? Uh, I think it's huge because I mean playing a top team like Oregon. Uh, who they've been there, they're a top program. They've been to the March Madness. That, that, that just shows us that we can play with anybody. And then we just start rolling, and guys get confidence, more and more confidence, and the sky's the limit for us, really. Dave? Hey, Mitch, the other night, Jeremiah said that Illinois is just another game. One, do you believe him? And two, do you, have you seen this game really bring out something in all those guys, your teammates, that have some connection to either the state of Illinois or, or that program? Uh, yeah, I think I think Tilly kind of just meant that, you know, just to just to keep a fair head. But definitely, it means way more than that. Uh, it's bragging rights. Like guys, really like this is this really splits people down the middle. You got to pick a side. So, guys on our team, I know JT, Javon, Mark. Uh, this is a very important game for them, just like it has been the last couple of years. So, I mean, everybody wants to go out. We want to brag. So we're gonna play hard. Guys are gonna channel into to energy they don't even know they have, and it's gonna be a great game. Uh, Eric, do you have another question? Is this one of those games where you subconsciously just have to push harder? It's an, almost an out-of-body experience. You feel tired. You have to keep going. Is this one of those games you just find that next level inherently? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because especially, I mean, if you're tired during the game, uh, I mean, it's cool. You can be tired after the game. This is one of those games like you have to win. You you have to you have to come out on top. So, I mean, you can have the next day to recover, drink water, rest. But during that game, like, you have to give everything you have, even if you, you feel like you're exhausted. Okay. Mitchell, I know this is beyond your guys' control and it won't impact the game, but have you thought about at all what tomorrow would be like on campus if fans could go to both games? Uh, Columbia Columbia would be busting, really. Uh, both teams are doing great. The football team is doing great. Uh, so if they get a dub first and then coming to us after that, the, the gym would be packed. It would be no, no standing at all. Um, just the, the intensity it would be at Columbia, the whole city would be lit. So, I, I mean, I wish Kobe wasn't going on and we could have the game here. It would be awesome. Jack? Sorry, I forgot to lower my hand. My bad. Okay. Anything else for Mitch? Thanks, man. Appreciate it.